Well, the day is finally here, guys. I'm finally getting my pickup swapped out on my new Kiesel guitar. So as you know, when I ordered my Kiesel, I ordered it with the Dreamcatcher and Rainmaker pickups by DiMarzio. And then when I got it, I was like, man, I don't know if I like these pickups. Maybe there's too much top end in them. So I ordered a set of DiMarzio Sonic Ecstasy pickups to replace them with because those are the pickups that I have in all my JP models upstairs, and they're freaking amazing, and I just love those pickups. So in this video, I'm going to see if there is any difference at all between the pickups and if there is how much of a difference is there and quick shout out to my friend paul smith for changing the pickups out for me thank you very much i really appreciate that so in this video i'm going to be shooting out both sets of these pickups in several different ways i'm going to start out by shooting them out on the clean channel on my diesel herbert mark iii in all four pickup settings and then i'm going to shoot them out with some riffs on one of the high gain channels on the red 7 leviathan with and without the overdrive pedal then i'm going to switch to channel two on the red 7 leviathan which is a really nasty channel and do some lead licks with it and see how they compare with that and then i'm going to do a full mix and after that i'm going to edit all the clips together and give you my final thoughts after I get a chance to listen to everything in my studio monitors.
All right, so I just finished editing everything and I lined up all of the riffs right next to each other. And I honestly cannot tell the difference between the pickups. I really can't. And if I'm really reaching here, I would say that the Sonic Ecstasy pickups have a teeny bit more low end. Other than that, I honestly cannot tell the difference between the two sets of pickups. Now, if you remember when I first got this guitar, it was making some weird chirp when I was doing the chugs and I was playing it through the Rev Mark III and I was like, man, what's going on with this chirp thing? And I ended up fixing it by turning the uh, tone knob down on my uh, mud killer pedal, but the thing is, is it doesn't do that on my other guitars with the same pickups in them. So there's still that chirp thing going on and it's driving me nuts to be honest with you and I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, I don't know if the YouTube compression hides that from you guys. I'm telling you guys, I'm not crazy. I can hear it here with my in-ears. Every time I do chugs, I can hear that stupid chirp. It doesn't happen on every single one of them, but if I do 20 chugs, maybe seven or 10 of them, I'll hear that stupid chirp. And I'll demonstrate it for you now. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear it here in the room and it's driving me batshit crazy. Let me grab one of my other guitars with the exact same pickups in it and I'll do the same chugs on it and you won't hear it. All right, so I have my Majesty, same tuning, seven string guitar, just like the Kiesel. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and put those chugs right up against each other with both guitars and see if we can hear a difference. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear it out there, but I can definitely hear it in here in the room and it's driving me nuts. I'm telling you, the YouTube compression is probably gonna squish it down and you know make it a non-issue, but I can hear it here in the room. And that was the main reason why I switched pickups is I wanted to solve that problem, but I still have the same freaking problem. I'm honestly thinking that somehow there's bleed over from the piezo pickups into my passive pickups. I just think that that's what's going on here. Because when you play piezos, especially on a distorted amplifier, you get that weird kind of attack or chirp on the top end. And it sounds very unnatural. And I feel like there's just like this slight bleed into my passive pickups with the the piezos i i don't know maybe i'm crazy maybe i'll have to call kiesel and figure that out but it's driving me nuts now let me just say this i love my kiesel guitar i think it's beautiful i think it's made very well it plays like a dream uh the fit and finish the quality is all there there's just this minor issue but I shouldn't say it's a minor issue because it's driving me crazy, but once you hear it, you can't unhear it. And every time I start doing chugs, man, I just freaking hear the chirp on top or this weird clang or extra attack on top. And it's just, like I said, once you hear it, you can't unhear it. Anyways, if there's anybody out there that knows what that is, please comment below and let me know what it is because I really want to solve this problem because I love that guitar and I really don't want to send it back to Kiesel to have him look at it because it's going to cost me a lot of money in shipping and I don't want to deal with that but if I have to I have to. Now stay tuned to the channel and make sure you subscribe if you haven't because I'm actually going to be shooting out my Majesty guitar against the Kiesel. They both have the same pickups now and we're also going to do a tone wood experiment and see if the tone woods between these two guitars will affect the sound of the pickups. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, to all my subscribers and Patreon supporters, thank you so much. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please do and click the bell so that you can be notified every time I come out with new episodes. Oh my God, I'm so sick of saying all that crap at the end of my videos. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I got a lot more stuff coming up for you and I'll see you on the next one.